If someone is pregnant, is it safe for them to travel in an airplane? Will it cause them to go into labor? Is the solar radiation safe for the baby? We're going to answer these questions right now. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Life doesn't slow down when you're pregnant. You may still need to travel for work or for holidays, but it might make you stop and wonder, is it safe? Are there any restrictions, recommendations, or consequences to flying? In this video, we'll cover everything you should know before getting on your next flight, explained by addressing and reducing each risk. The number one risk that needs to be avoided is going into labor, breaking your water, or even delivering the baby. As we learned in the previous video, a pregnancy is considered preterm until 36 weeks and 6 days and only about 12% of pregnancies deliver preterm. So airlines often have a policy that restrict people from flying after 36 weeks of gestation because it's very unlikely for you to deliver before then. Although they are rare overall, pregnancy-related emergencies are most common during the first and third trimesters. If you're able to postpone your flight, you can reduce your risk by waiting to travel until your second trimester. Or if you're already in your third trimester, perhaps wait until after delivery. The duration of the flight is also important to consider, and whether you'll have access to obstetric care when you land. Regardless of the trimester, if you have a high-risk pregnancy that your doctor is carefully monitoring, it is not recommended that you fly. Pregnancy causes several changes to your body, including increasing the risk of blood clots. Sitting for long periods of time also increases the risk of blood clots. This means a pregnant person is at a higher risk than the general population to develop one during or after a long flight. To reduce this risk, you can do these four things. One, take breaks from sitting by walking up and down the aisles. Two, wear compression socks or stockings. Three, wear light-fitting clothing that is not restrictive. And four, drink plenty of fluids to stay hydrated. It can be hard to balance and walk during pregnancy, especially in the third trimester, and turbulence during a flight cannot be predicted. These factors both increase the risk of falling, so if you're going to take short walks as I just suggested, make sure to hold onto the chairs or walk with someone. And while you're sitting, make sure to have your seatbelt on properly, securely fastened beneath your abdomen over your hips, not over your abdomen. Radiation can be dangerous for a developing fetus. Although we're constantly being exposed to radiation from outer space, the atmosphere protects us from most of it. However, when we're in an airplane, we're exposed to higher levels of radiation because we're higher in the atmosphere and have less protection. But even with this higher exposure, even on the longest possible flight, it will only be about 15% of the total amount allowed in a year. For someone taking a couple short trips during their pregnancy, they won't be exposed to enough radiation to cause damage. An airline crew member, on the other hand, should be aware that they might fly enough to be exposed to more than the yearly limit. Consider discussing this with your doctor and work manager to create accommodations or change roles during the pregnancy. If you have any non-obstetric conditions, confirm with your primary doctor whether it is safe to fly. Air travel has the potential to worsen pre-existing conditions to the point where you need emergency care. Yes, overall it is safe to occasionally fly during pregnancy. Discuss your plans with your doctor before each flight and make sure you address each of the risks covered in this video. Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video. Then check out this other video to keep learning.